Okay, first thing I'm going to do in Mastercam on my breadboard project is I'm going to select the machine type. We're using a router, Techno Servo, that pulls up this property menu. Under here, I'm going to set up my stock, the cutter in the lower left hand corner. My board inside of my pencil lines is 12 by 14 and 3 quarters of an inch thick. That sets up my stock. If I want to see what that looks like, I click on display and I can see it. Then I'm going to create a rectangle starting at the origin, drawing up. And same thing, I'm going to make that over 12, up 14, snap. And then this is fit screen, so I could see my, there's my breadboard. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it, my corners. So I'm going to click fill it. I'll put in a one inch fillet for two of the corners and maybe that's good then I'll put like a two inch radius maybe even a two point now 2.5 inch radius for my other two corners it's because I like the way that design looks kind of asymmetrical okay so now I'm done filleting my board I need to drill a hole right here. I want that centered this distance and this distance equally. So I'm going to create a couple construction lines by offsetting these lines, maybe 1.25. Offset that line and that line. Then I'm going to create a circle or an arc from a center point. And I'm going to where those, those things cross, create an arc. I don't know maybe three quarters of an inch so put that at point seven five there's my hole I've done that go back and erase my construction lines now I need to create my blood groove I'm gonna to go to X form offset I'm gonna offset uh, everything about an inch offset that an inch that an inch I'm also going to offset my fillets. That looks not going to work. Okay, so those are my offsets. But the only thing I'll offset too is I'll offset that circle in it. Okay, done that. Let me erase this extra mark here. Then I want to go back to filleting. Actually, let me trim first. I'll trim this circle back to there, the circle back to there, and then I will, I'm done that operation, I'll fill it, this circle, I want to go back to my one inch radius here, to there, fill it this to there, that looks good, oh, and I will fill it this to this, that looks good, the only thing I don't like is where my circle isn't centered between the two. So I think I'm going to X form drag my circle. I'm done selecting it. I hit that green ball and then I could drag it now. It's on copy and I actually want it on move. And I could drag it so it's kind of centered there. Okay, so that's the end of the geometry portion. The next is tool pathing and I'll go over that in the next video.